Welcome back to the channel guys, as you can see uh, today I've come to a car park great isn't it? Well, the car park is in Doncaster famous for racing of course Doncaster I think it still has the oldest race course in the world to be honest the car park is very cheap and it's right next to a church which we'll go and have a look at in a bit meantime heading that way because I do believe that is the way into the town centre let's have a look see how Doncaster fares I guess all the other town centres I've visited let's go well unfortunately all the gates that let you into the church grounds are locked you can't get in at all so I won't be looking at the church what a shame I love these buildings on the other side of the road look at them Size of them properties. Don't know how many are living accommodation and how many are businesses. Maybe they're all businesses, it looks like it with all the signage down here. Probably are, but they're great houses, wouldn't they? Oh. Yeah, how about opening your gate so I can get in? And here's the National Education Union, Yorkshire and Humber region. Love the reflection off the glass of the cloud and the sun and the town centre is right in front of us very old tired looking Iceland just here Bymaster in front and there's your Iceland delivery vans delivering your shopping to you now they don't look, like they don't look refrigerated to me then if they're not they're only going to be for short journeys otherwise you feel the frost and you end up with a basket full of water there you go changing lives there yeah, pretty quiet there's half past nine in the morning it's a Monday morning it's my day off this is what I do nice bit of graffiti No, I don't know what it is. No idea. But it is Nosh. Pizza food. Bugs look a bit tired, aren't they? Very tired indeed. Ooh. Especially that one. That's a goodie. Empty properties. What a bloody shame. Hmm, plenty of concrete, loads of concrete, a couple of little trees, more trees down there, but oh look at this, what a shame, bit of a mess isn't it, balakinik, balakinik food, what well, that is, <laughs> here we go, army, be the best. And in my opinion, our armed forces are the best in the world. That's just my opinion. Reynolds Tech is in, man. I don't know what. Should we join? Uh, we might join up, so we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> not on your life, man. Not on my age. The buildings don't look that. They just need, they just need painting. It would make them look so much more attractive if they were bright and painted. Oh, dear. Oh. Papa John's are good pizzas. They are good pizzas. Yeah, recruitment. Hmm. Not getting a great vibe from Doncaster. Sign of the times. Jesus. Someone's been busy with hammer or something. <sighs> My God. It's the first time I've actually been to Doncaster. Never been anywhere near it before. It's looking pretty run down. It's like it's had spotted in that does. 
God. Slug and Lettuce. It's a great name for a pub. At least the pub looks decent. You know, Swatowski's. I thought you said Swastika for a yeah, bit. I did. <laughs> I like it. We don't change oh, it. Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's been some looking buildings down here, but from what I've seen up to now, my first impression is it's not that good. Sorry, Doncaster. Shall further down and have a look down there and see what, if it improves. Here is the Doncaster Unitarian and Free Christian Church, and it looks very nice. Nice, probably. Cobbles. And there's the church. Very small, but you don't need a lot of room to pray, do you? Well, the Prudential Assurance Company has got a very, very nice building above it and below it. Um, mm, Coloured mess. But look at that for a gents barbers. Golden scissors. That's a beautiful architecture above with a date stamp 1910. That looks splendid. As does that over the road. Wonderful. And above Pepe's Piri Piri Chicken, we've got some chap sat at a computer. There you go. So Ledger Tavern looks pretty good. Very nice. The famous Biscuit Billy's. Now I've no idea what Biscuit Billy's is. So if somebody can tell me in the comments below, I'd love to know. Biscuit Billy's. What on earth is that? Uh, Vietnamese street food. Very tight buildings above. Freddy's, chicken, burgers, pizza. Tons and tons and tons of takeaways. Mambo, Dixie Chicken, Sports Bar. Yeah, I'll give that a miss. Look at that up there. Look at that up there. A little tight. Addiction. Mmm. That really is not a decent, a good name for anything that sells alcohol. <laughs> Pizza Gym, Barber's Shop. Frank and Stein. <laughs> Frank and Stein, come on. Someone's got a sense of humor or not, as the case may be. Another takeaway. Pizza kebab, that <laughs> burger, gyms. What the hell's this? Coco's nightclub? Oh. It's not much like a nightclub up there, does it? <laughs> well, here we have it. Let's pop down there in a minute. Yeah, I've never seen so many takeaways on one street. Hogan's. Doesn't say what it is, I can only imagine it's some sort of pub, club, or a takeaway. Silver House, aptly named because it's Beige. <laughs> right. Silver Street Duck Shop. Pizza love. Jesus Christ, you wouldn't go hungry. You certainly get fat, but you wouldn't go hungry. Alton Hall Limited, Chaz Bar. Just all eating places. Not much else, so. Yeah, what's this? Bloody hell. Ew. And broken glass to boot. Mm. Good God, man. I didn't think Doncaster was this bad. Very surprised, shot. Oh. What's the best thing about Doncaster? 
You don't know. <laughs> He's not talking. That's new restaurant, looks lovely. Down a palace. Nice. There you go. Where will we be without these fellas? Where will we be? Alright guys, what's the best thing about Doncaster? Not full. Not full? Really? There you are, you it. <laughs> oh cheers mate! There you go, you heard it from the refuse collector himself. It's a hole. And he's right. <laughs> Never mind. We've got to look, haven't we? <laughs> Good God. It's kind of pubs look decent. But, uh, not much else. Barbers and takeaways, that just about sums up Doncaster. Some ones around there. I wonder what was there. Not the Flying Scotsman tap. I'm directly behind me. I'm not sure what this building is, I've absolutely no idea. Let's go around the front a bit later on perhaps, but in the interim, let's carry on strolling around and see if I can find anything. Remotely pretty. Oh, fancy dress shop. Body ass tattoo studio. The wool pack, really. <laughs> For Emmerdale fans, no, I'm not in Emmerdale. Home of the thick, fresh dumpling. Pie Master makes the best dumplings I've ever had. We call them depth charges. Bye, Master. Whoops. Near came a croppy. Red line looks lovely. And that's all the pubs were open. Quite early. Yeah, mate. Bookies, lovely building above, lovely architecture, dig the little balcony, if that door actually opens onto it, that's a bit, uh... oh dear, 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 I like this, marketplace, formerly Goose Hill, now, Yeah, small market. Mm. They don't want you to go in though. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everything is shut in there to be honest, apart from this uh, mobility place. Everything else is closed. There we go, there we go. When I am disabled, I want that. Oh, that's just cool. And another one bites the dust. Right, let's have a little quick wander around the market, although it's yeah. only nearly all shut. Let's have a little look. Goose Hill cards, Goose Hill cards. Hmm, it's like a bloody prison block. <laughs> well. Must be uh, what is it, a sushi bar? Clam and cork. A uh, seafood bar where you can get some wine as well. That, I do like the idea of that. Brilliant, man. Doncaster Seafoods. Yeah. 
את ניצור שם. These all locally sourced these crabs. Hey. They're locally sourced these little crabs. They're from uh, Grimsby. Grimsby. Yeah, they're called. Oh, right. Not plate corks and what have you. Yeah. yeah. They look bloody lovely. They do. Oh, so is that salmon. Mmm. Beautiful. And what's going on over here? Oh, wind turbine. Wind turbines. You're generating your own power. Yeah, yeah, the wind turbines, that's brilliant. Into the national grid. <laughs> oh, ice. Mm -mm. Delicious. Is it working for the BBC? Good God, no. <laughs> There's no one working there at the minute, the bulk of them are in court. Sorry, BBC. <laughs> I'll tell you that. There you go, people of Britain. The fishmongery I'm at. He's very, very famous. And here's the chap, in the flesh. So this is, this is mine. The one like page this. 52. So that is mine. Oh, there you go. Wow. And they are, look, that's a proper fishmonger. The gentleman fishmonger. So if you're ever anywhere near Doncaster, get yourself down to this little market, meet the gentleman fishmonger, and buy his product. Thank you very much, gentlemen, your stars. Thank you very, very much. Wonderful. Yeah, you too. Well, that was great. So he's very, very popular. He's been in Yorkshire magazines, been in newspapers. They have a delicatessen restaurant around the corner, which has been also been in various magazines because his standards are extremely high and his cooking is excellent, I believe. So I'll give it a try one day. But in the interim, let's continue our tour. E-car, now only £5,695, but check out these mobility scooters, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, <laughs> and look at that one in the shop, in the shop window there, oh brilliant man, it's getting closer, let's have a look at that, gotta see it, oh <laughs> wow, wow, Chevy, <laughs> Do you know what? Almost makes you think, I can't wait to get old. <laughs> Save a lot. Ann Summers. Should we nip in and have a look? No, not Ann Summers, no, no, no. British half hand. there's the church. <laughs> Just such a shame you can't get into the grounds. Have a good look at it. Oh, we can get a thong each. <laughs> <laughs> Buy after going in and swimming and getting a thong. The architecture is fantastic. It's looks very Switzerland, this, doesn't it? Love it. Love it. At least we've got some trees. Too many town centres just don't have any trees in them. Just a mass of concrete. Quite a grand house of Fraser. Out the store, 20% off. It's in keeping with House of Fraser. Posh. Nice. Yeah, part of it is getting better. Some parts look very, very run down. Some parts look a lot better. My suspense is one of the few that's still open. Very Mark Spencer ish. It's true the banks always have the best buildings, don't they? Always have the nicest buildings. HSBC, Santander. Fabulous, fabulous, beautiful architecture. And here's Boba Shack. Bubble tea. No idea what bubble tea is. Is it tea that's, I don't know, the bubbles? It's like a French cake. <laughs> It just doesn't look like it belongs here, but it does. Very busy, Doncaster, I'll give you that. Run down. Very busy indeed. 
quite a few people around, it's quite a lot of streets, a lot of shops. And the more I see, yeah, the more I'm liking it. What is a bubble tea shop? I don't know, I don't know, I was just thinking that myself, bubble tea. There it is. If you're going to, oh, here we go, look at the menu, look at the menu. Oh, Fruit tea, 349. Oh, it's three nights. Really? Really? He's one of those health places, isn't it? Healthy tea. Ah, the cat factory. <laughs> one shop that never closes anywhere. Every single time you go in, there's a card factory and it's never, ever shut. Oh, this looks nice, this looks nice. And the netting to protect it from pigeons crapping all over it. Bank hall. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, busy place, but a lot bigger than I expected, I must admit. A lot bigger than I expected. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Tea. Bit odd. Bit odd. Okay. Do you know what? It's getting better. It is getting better. Even Prime Master said it's getting better. Certainly busy. Old Dunham House looks a bit uh, shite. <laughs> Wanted to film some rocks over there with a lot of crackies, a lot of crackies hanging around, stinks of cannabis. And I don't want to go and stand anywhere near them. Can't stand crackies. I hope Pine Master's getting some cash. He's seen something he wants to buy. King's Arcade, looking good. Looking good. Damn house looks very weird. Supermarket of what? Kukasa. Really? I don't know what language that is. It's not Spanish, I don't think. Hmm. Doncaster Mines Rescue. Can only imagine. There's a miner. Can only imagine that these are people that may have lost their lives in the mines of various collieries. Across Doncaster, Derbyshire, Yorkshire. Wow. What a fitting tribute. Okay. Let's get on. I must have streaming ahead. There he goes. Talking heads. Heads. <laughs> Sorry. No, another nail bar. Good grief, man. Nail bars and takeaways. Coffee shops, nail bars, takeaways, that just about sums up town centres nowadays. That looks horrible. God, I wonder if anyone lives up there. Oh. Hope not. Well, I've got to admit, there are. A lot of rundown areas in Doncaster, but there's also some nice pieces, nice bits. You see, it's quite a busy, busy Doncaster town. Doncaster is good. Doncaster's good. Can What's, I be on the vlog? Yeah, of course you can, of course you can. Hello, guys. Loves Doncaster. There Donc you go. Doncaster is very good. What's the best thing about it? Best thing? I don't know. <laughs> Shopping. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> hey, thanks very much, man. See ya. See ya. <laughs> There you go, Doncaster's. It'll be on next week. Be Mac Macman. M A W C M A N. Macman. Okay, see ya. Methodist Church. I don't think that's a Methodist Church anymore, do you? Definitely not. <laughs> Is this fellow waiting for me? Here he is. Well, I think we've just about seen all we can see in Doncaster. It's a lot bigger than I anticipated, like I said. There's so many little side streets, little little bits where it opens up into another ton of shops. 
which is what you want if you like shopping but um, yeah good good and bad that's all I can say about Doncaster good and bad Colonnade shopping centre look at them look at them look at them mmm flannels oh, it just gets bigger and bigger <laughs> Drive by coffee, eh? See, they've done a bit of work, a bit of restoration work. And this is, look at that, look at that. Nice bit of green, just outside the Angel and Royal. Sit outside, enjoy your drink, and watch the wind blowing through the leaves. <laughs> now. What intrigued me was that. No, in some respects, it's a lot tidier than that. Yeah. I've absolutely no idea what that is. <laughs> or what it means. But I like it. That was a bit... Odd. Strange brick. Very odd. Right. <laughs> what is it? Now then. I don't know whether I like that or hate it. It looks a bit weird. Very weird. I've never seen brick like that before. Anyway, there we go. Me and Pai must have had a bloody good wander around Doncaster. I don't think I've shown you all of it because I say it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. But if you have enjoyed the look around Doncaster and you fancy coming here yourself, jump in your car, train, bus, get down here. But for me, I'm off somewhere else now and I'll see you all the next time I'm out and about. Thank you very much. Take care.